In Rail Clone 3, if you chained together multiple transform nodes, the order wouldn't really make any difference. To illustrate, in the following example, two transform operators are used. One is for translation, and another is for rotation. And in the top chain we're using rotate then translate, but in the bottom chain it's the reverse, translate and then rotate. Notice that swapping these to change the order in Rail Clone 3 makes absolutely no difference to the outcome. But in Rail Clone 4 the order does make a difference. In the first chain the segment is rotated and then translated. The result is the same as Rail Clone 3. However, in the second chain the segment is translated first and the rotation then occurs using the original axis position of the segment. And that's important for understanding how this works. The geometry is always transformed in relation to its original axis position. The axis itself is not affected and stays put. The order makes a difference and that makes this much more intuitive. And that said, in a weird quirk of, well, maths I guess, if you find it easier to visualise the pivot moving of the geometry as, a, as opposed to staying in the same position, then you just need to read the nodes backwards. Ok, there's one more change to transform in this release. In Rail Clone 3, when rotating and scaling using a single transform node, the rotate operation will be carried out first, followed by scale, and this could result in skewed geometry, as you can see here. In Rail Clone 4, the scale operation now occurs before rotation, resulting in geometry that scales along the local axis as expected. Now at its most extreme, both these changes make things like this crane style possible. Now we're not suggesting that Rail Clone is the best or the right tool for rigging complex vehicles, but we just wanted a tricky test for the new behaviour. Specifically, we wanted to see if the new transform changes were intuitive enough to be able to get the crane's jib working, including the ability for it to rotate extend and even lowered the hook. We even attached it to a marker for good measure so we could drive it along the spline. Turns out all these challenges were achievable in Rail Clone 4, whereas in Rail Clone 3 this would have been extremely difficult if not impossible.